The central bank governor, Patrick Joroge, confirms that some banks will be held liable for facilitating the dubious NYS transactions, but declined to either confirm the number or name the lenders under the investigator's radar. He says the CBK is allowing the Directorate of Criminal Investigations to conclude investigations before deciding on the next cause of action. But, as NTV's Jane Gwery reports, as many as seven banks are being investigated for long Wondering the NYS loot. The rumbling noise of shuffling notes at a banking till. Now there are growing rumbles among the public that articulate growing distrust in the banking sector as details of the National Youth Service scandal unfold. With huge sums of money reported to have been stolen, a key avenue is banks. The very institutions mandated to safeguard Monenti's money have played a part in stealing it. The Central Bank of Kenya Governor Dr. Patrick Njoroge, while confirming that theft must have been aided by banks, steered off key specifics, neither naming the lenders nor confirming how many they are. The investigations that are taking place, I mean, it is important that they, we give the investigators space. Let's not anticipate. NTV has established that seven banks are under investigation on the charge of money laundering and profiting from the funds said to have been looted from the NYS. Of the seven, five are tier one banks, while the other two are two tier institutions. Our sources further reveal that in one of the big banks, investigators are probing nine accounts, five of which were active and operated by two people. One of the tactics the account holders used to clean the money was they will write various payment checks prior to the stolen monies hitting the accounts. They will then ask the recipients to withdraw the funds once they land in the accounts. This will leave the original account with little or no money shortly after the stolen money reflected, meaning that even if the account was flagged as suspect, the money was already out. In January 2016, after the first NYS heist, the CBK formulated new regulations that made it mandatory for anyone transacting over 1 million shillings to issue a written explanation of the transaction. Additionally, one is expected to explain what the funds are to be used for as well as the beneficiaries. It's not an issue of enforcement or lack of understanding. It is an issue of uh, maybe people not following the guidelines deliberately or they are or deliberately because how else could you make a mistake that on things that you are completely aware of in the aftermath of the NYS2 scandal and the precedent set by the list of those already facing charges bank employees ranging from branch managers to relationship managers and financial experts are among those who are likely to face arrest and prosecution. Jin Gwiri, NTV.